used to call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone Late night when you need my love Call me on my cell phone Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another DIY. This is kind of like how to make your room more cozy for fall and the colder months. I'm going to do this one is basically um, fall DIY based and then I'm going to do another one in a couple weeks kind of like transforming it to winter and like doing some of the same things but making them winter-esque. So they kind of like go hand in hand and these will like the DIYs in this will pretty much be like transformed into other DIYs and then there will be some that aren't and then some that are and I'm just blabbering now like always and flailing my arms. I don't even know why I do that but okay anyways um yeah so basically I just show you guys some easy DIYs that you guys can do that make your room more cozy for fall and then some of them are DIYs they're just tips on decorating your room for fall so there's those as well and then what was I gonna say oh I do have if you can see this pillow this leaf pillow right here the gold one um, I did make that and I decided to do that on my blog so if you're interested in seeing how I made that I will have the link to that post down below and you can check that out because I love how it turned out and I'm also going to do a winter one like that so if you see how to do that one then the one that I use in my winter room cozy DIY fall winter not fall whatever decor <laughs> then um, you will see kind of like how to make that it's so easy and I really like how it turned out so let's just go ahead and get into it so this first DIY is the this like fall wood chip sign thing I don't really know what you want to call it but I love how it turned out so basically I just got these wood chips from Hobby Lobby they were only like a couple dollars and then I just painted the like a circle around them leaving like a little bit of a border and I just did this in like a maroon color you could do like whatever color you want I think orange would be really cute or you could do like a brown or gold or yellow or pink or purple literally you could do any color and I think that it would be really cute and then yeah just do this for all of the different little wood circles finished painting all the circles and they've dried, you can go ahead and start painting on your fall letters. I decided to do kind of like a cursive um, font, but you could do like just a plain font or whatever you want. And yeah, I know that I totally screwed up the F on this, like that's not how an F looks in cursive, but I don't know, <laughs> whatever, I think it still turned out cute. So yeah, just do that on all the letters and then you are done with this DIY. I just ended up putting it on kind of like my entertainment center type piece in my room and I think it turned out really cute. <laughs> Basically, I have no names for any of these DIYs that I did, but this is kind of like a wooden branch with leaves hanging down from it, little fixture thing. But basically, I just started off by using like some cardstock paper. It's a little bit thicker than like printer paper, just plain white. You could do whatever, ever, whatever color though. And then I just like outlined a leaf that I printed from the computer, drew it on, and then cut out a bunch of these. I ended up using around nine or ten, I think. Of these so just cut out around that many more or less depending on how full you want your branch to be and then I'm just using Mod Podge and pouring on different shades of glitter I used like a darker orange or dark brown 
a light gold, a more like yellow gold, and like an orangey gold. So I used a few different ones to add like a little bit of variety. And then yeah, just like Mod Podge, sprinkle the glitter on, tap it off, and repeat. So then you end up with a bunch of these glitter leaves. And then I'm going to just kind of like tie some string around the stem part of the leaf and tie the other side of the string to the branch. And you'll see me do that here. And then I kind of do like some different lengths of the string to add a little bit of more like dimension to the thing, which you'll see when I show you my finished product. So the final DIY of this video is a Hello Autumn wooden palette sign. I guess that one does have a name. <laughs> so yeah, basically I just bought some of these like wood slabs from Hobby Lobby. They had a pack of this size and then a smaller two pack that I used for like the back of the palette to put it on together, what I'm hot gluing right now. So you could buy a pre-made palette. This was just like really inexpensive and I thought it would be kind of cool to make my own. So. I don't know, it'd probably just be easier to buy one though, honestly, it was probably like a dollar more, but whatever. I just painted all of the um, palette pieces, all the pieces of wood white, and I didn't do it like so it's super opaque. I kind of wanted the wood to show through a little bit, so I only did like a coat. Or actually, I think I did two coats and it still kind of like showed the wood a little bit, so yeah, I just did that. And then I hot glued the palette together. And then now I'm going on and I'm just like tracing out what I want to say because I did not trust myself with a paintbrush unless I've like written it out and been able to like erase it. Um, so yeah, I just wrote Hello Autumn. You could write like Hello Fall. You could write, if you're doing this in the winter, Hello Winter. I don't know. I think you could do like a lot of different sayings, but I thought Hello Autumn was really cute. And then I'm going over it in this like metallic gold paint. But this paint was like not very good and it took me, I think it was like five coats, which is ridiculous to get like it to not look splotchy or anything. So I don't know, I wouldn't, I don't know, just find a good gold paint and if you have to do more coats then, I don't know, it didn't really take me that long because I wasn't putting it on very thick, so it dried pretty quickly. So yeah, here I'm just kind of going over with another coat. But again, it really wasn't that big of a deal, and I really like how it turned out. So after I was done painting the letters on, then I just hot glued a piece of twine. I used like an orange twine to the back of it, and then stuck a tack in my wall and hung it up. And I really like how it turned out. It's really cute. And I hung that next to my desk. So I also just decided to add a few other things in this video to make your room a little bit more cozy. I took this picture frame and turned it into like a tray. I got it from Target. Added a Bath and Body Works candle, a couple candles that I dipped in glitter, this pumpkin from Walmart, and then some acorns that I put glitter on the edges, which I'm actually going to show you how I do it in a winter video coming up in a few weeks. And then for my bed, I added some plaid pillows, and then this really fuzzy body pillow that's really long. That gold leaf pillow that you see will be up on my blog, how I made that. And then I just took this huge sweater blanket that's so cute and so cozy and made that like my bed spread so my room my bed is like the coziest thing ever all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed the video and got some inspiration to kind of make your room a little bit more cozy taking away all those summer items and making it more cozy for fall using different colors but keeping it really cheap i feel like everything i pretty much already had or it was like extremely cheap to make if i had to go buy anything so that's always a plus too. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have some really fun videos coming. I've been like trying to make think of like some cool like original ideas of how to like do it, film, and just get better at quality and everything like that. So I'm really excited. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I hope that you guys have a 
wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week, whatever day this gets uploaded. It might be next week. But I hope that you guys did have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a fun video because it's going to be like a travel based video.